Okay, so continuing with our lesson on modeling the body. So this time, yung unang back or yung likod na part naman yung imo model natin. So let me just go back to the low poly view. Let me go back to my um, rear view or back reference. Let's go to panel. Let's go to orthographic. And I'll choose back one. I'll press F to focus it. And here we go. Next is magdadagdag ako uli ng polygon for the back. So I will be doing that using the edge selection tool. Then dito, I'll hold shift, double click the next one. And then I'll just do another connect. Then I can do a W. And there it is. So it's the same situation now. Um, I do not see front polygons or edges or vertices because we have forwarded our um, front view reference. So now I'll just select my vertices to start forming the back. So I'll just slightly push this because this is going to serve as um, you know, the spinal canal, uh, yung, uh, the, let's say, lowered part or crease part there along our spine area. Let's just move this a bit, following still the reference. Um, slightly moving and moving. Um, now I will just uh, go back here, then here. So I'm just tracing, so initially tracing my reference. Yeah. I'm still at the back view. So. So this is just, let's say, flat movements as of now, no? Um, because I haven't looked at the reference yet. Oops, that's where the arm is connected. So I will just be moving that later. So let's just try now. Let me go to the side view, oh sorry, back view. And then look at the side view reference here. There. So let me just in the side view reference. So let's say these edges here. Um, this is the middle vertex. And then I'll go here. This is the side. So let me go up okay so i'll need to drag this along here following the contours of the body and to have it rounded up a bit now that's at the side and then i will try and push this let's say i'll push this inside or inwards a little oops let me select all those three there it's been pushed right I am trying to push it a little bit uh, so that it will start to round up or be bilug in body and it's like that that's why I'm pushing it inwards and para bumilug siya a bit rounded pressing one saving work 
going back to the back view and also the side view now this contours of the body here i'll just select these vertices i'll drag it push them here there next is of course the shaping out of, of the upper back so here so let's just carefully drag them forward first like this just to have that initial shape example here there so now I'll turn on number three to see the smooth view and also at the same time I'll try to create the spinal canal by pushing some vertices inwards see carefully pushing them inwards let's see up to here I'll need that here mm -hmm. looking at the reference yeah that's within the buttocks area and then I'll select this next set of vertices I can drag them back a bit push them here mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. And then this shape of the back, I can further push it forward here. There, so that's going to be the peak of it. Same here. And this. there carefully on um, positioning it the shoulder I'll not touch that for now because the arm is also with that and then here I'll just drag this I oh, know the arms are doing fine for now let me just push back this back of the head there oh, let's check so far the form of the body Peering out fine. Mm -hmm. Next thing is, of course, the buttocks. We need to fix that from the back view. So I'll go here. There it is. Uh -huh. There's the buttocks. Um, I'll just select here, let's say this part and this part and this part. I'll just drag it let's say let's remove that drag this a bit more. And then to be followed here um, let's move this going here and then here 
I think some vertices are getting hidden. So what I'll do is I'll use the move tool and select the front view so that I can see properly. Oops, sorry. Turn that off. Front view. There. Okay. So from here, let's say this is the sign. Push it. Now, here in the front, and then this one following the shape of the buttocks at the same time, dragging it for the roundness there and then this portion of sorry this portion and then this portion there inwards a bit and more There it is, buttocks complete. Let's just remove the crease. So far, this is going to be it for the back of the model. Appears fine. The front also is appearing fine. Pressing 1. So that's how they are going to look like initially. But we will keep on progressing. Oops, I think this got hit express string I know it is fine as one I thought it got hit saving work so going back so let's say this is going to be my base mesh for the body I am done with the back and I'm done with the front no so what I'll do next is I'll just bring out the hand polygon and I'll just attach them or select all of them select here and do a mesh combine there now our gizmo has moved so I'll just press D 0 on the X W And 
and then right and it duplicate special settings and then I'll just choose apply close so there it is going for the top view saving work I'm going to Since the duplicate special is now here, I'll switch to top view. Sorry for that. Panels, graphic, top, turning off X ray mode, certain vertex selection. So let's carefully select these things. and then with that I'll just go to my edit mesh oops sorry I have not yet combined them so I'll select the two of them mesh combine vertices so once again I'll select the top view there so 79 vertices selected so we don't need this one and this one this one seventy four. Now let's mesh combine. Oops. Was it? No, it's not yet. Why are they not combining? Mesh. Ah, oh, sorry. Um. Edit mesh. Sorry, merge. So there are now thirty-seven vertices. Move to pressing three. They are now together one polygon one object so this almost done the character base mesh is almost done so the next will be the head modeling okay so I'll see you on the next lesson